Hey guys, welcome to a Web Design Tuts Plus quick tip. Uh, my name is Adi and today we'll have a look at nested comments. And particularly, we're talking about uh, this kind of nested comments, right? The ones that have like a tree structure like this. Um, and I'm sure you've seen them on a bunch of different websites in one form or another, but the reality is it's very easy to do and today I'll show you two techniques. One is by using pure CSS and the other will use uh, just two images. All right, so let's open up Espresso and jump right into it. All right, so I started by creating an index.html file with just some starter HTML and a style CSS, which is linked in our HTML file and I've included uh, just a reset file from uh, Eric Mayer. You can grab that. And let's start by writing some markup. So I'll say, uh, first of all, a div with a class of container. And this will hold a list. Let's give it a class of simple nested. Okay, let's do another list item right there. Okay, now this list item will have a very basic structure. We'll say paragraph, which contains a link. Um, and we'll just say my name here. So the author name. And we'll do uh, an M, which will hold the date, like uh, February 23rd and also a paragraph plus uh, another paragraph with a link. And this will be, this will hold the actual comment and this will be the reply link. And all of this, we'll go ahead and wrap it in a div. Let's call it comment. All right, so that is one comment. And let's go ahead and copy it once more. And to make the nested lists, the nested comments, uh, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna put it inside the list item. Okay. Let's get rid of the class here and clean up the code a little bit. Oops. And close the list. All right. And let's do yet another level. So inside this list item, just below the div with uh, the actual comment. I'm gonna paste this again. All right, something like that. Let's check it out in Firefox. So we have four list items. Now all we gotta do is style them. So let's open up style CSS and we'll, we'll just start with some very basic styling. So for the body, I'm going to say font, uh, I'm going to keep it at 1M, 1.5M for line height, uh, Helvetica, Arial, this looks pretty good to me, okay? And I'll also change the color to something like that, okay? And then we'll do div container. Uh, we'll do a width of about 800 pixels and also a margin. Uh, let's do about 5Ms on the top and bottom and zero, uh, auto sorry on the sides. So everything is now positioned on, on the center of the page. Next one up, uh, let's get rid of all the bullets in the lists. So we'll say list style none. 
Okay, next up, let's do a background color for the body. Uh, very light gray, something like EA, EA, EA. And let's start, uh, let's begin styling the actual list items. So we'll say UL simple nesting, I think it's called. Let's see, simple nested actually. So simple nested, uh, we'll do list item, we'll say margin left, three amps. Okay, so already you can see that um, we start to get that nice nested uh, style. Okay, next up, let's do that div or a class of comment. We'll do a background of white. We'll do a border something like this and also I'll do a 1M padding so we get something like this and this is not like a fancy design tutorial we'll just cover the basics here um, but what you'll be learning here can be applied to any kind of layout as you'll see in just a just a tiny bit okay so uh, I'm not gonna bother with uh, styling everything. Uh, one quick thing I'm gonna do is set a, a font size of 0.75 to the M element. So, oh, okay, there we go. All right, so let's add a margin bottom of 1M to the comment uh, div. So that way they'll be pushed down a bit. And now it's time to add the actual uh, tree structure. So the very first thing we gotta do is say UL simple nested list item, and we'll target the actual list that's nested and we'll say border left one pixel solid and we'll do the same color as uh, our common body let's refresh and there you have it that's the the very first step and it you just saw how easy it was just add a border and it's gonna be the exact height of your nested list so the next step is to add that horizontal uh, border. And you can do that two ways. One is by using the pseudo element before, right? So we'll do UL simple nested list item UL before, right? Uh, content, we'll say none. And I'll add a border bottom, change the color, and I'll say position absolute so we can uh, manipulate its positioning. We go back here and say position relative because, after all, this is the parent of the before element. So in order for position absolute to work properly, we got to set position relative to its parent element. Okay, um, what else? Let's see if we get anything. And we don't because it doesn't have a width or a height. So let's say width 100%. Let's refresh. And as you can see, we have this nice line right here. Let's move it down a bit. Set the top to 2 amps. Refresh. And as you can see, it kind of uh, cuts through the whole comment area. So we'll change the width from 100% to 2 amps. Right. So 
that's it really if we resize if we increase the font size it's going to keep its proportions because we worked with um, m's with relative units all right so uh that's that's it <laughs> really it's uh, it's very simple as i told you um but bear in mind when using the before element uh, this is a pseudo element so it's it's only supported in IE 8 plus so IE 6 and 7 it's not gonna work um, so if you want to uh, to go back a bit further in terms of browser compatibility then you got to use something else uh, and that something else is uh, a block element you can use like a span which you can position inside your list. So let's try that real quick. Uh, so for instance, I want to add a span to this element. So I'll say span with a class of nested, um, let's call it nested branch. Okay, let's copy it. right here okay uh, let's get rid of this and I'll say span uh, nested branch I'll do something very similar to what we did on the pseudo element so I'll say border bottom in fact I'll just copy it from here So uh, I set a border, I set a position absolute, and that will work because its parent is the list, uh, the list, which we set position to relative. And also I set a width to two M's. So let's have a look. And the only thing that remains is set the top two M's. There we go. It's the exact same effect, but the difference is this method is supported in um, both i6 and 7. Uh, what if you have like a more complex layout? I mean, this is very simple. Uh, you set two borders on two different elements, but what if you have a, a layout that's somewhat a bit complicated? And instead of lines, you have images, you have patterns like this. Well, it's actually a very simple uh, method as well. Instead of using borders, you're going to use backgrounds. So let's quickly grab uh, some images here. Okay, I'm going to export this to my uh, working directory. And I'll say uh, border left and I'm gonna grab this one right here and I'm gonna say border bottom okay so let's go back to espresso and I'm gonna use the first method with uh, the uh, the pseudo element. So I'm just quickly gonna delete these. Okay. All right. So uh, content for the content. When using before or after element, you can also set um, an image with something like this URL and you save the path to the image. But as far as I know, you cannot repeat it. So instead, uh, I'll just say background. I'll do transpar transparent here. And the URL will be border bottom.png. 
I'll repeat it on the X axis. Okay, position remains absolute. Width will be two amps, top two amps, and let's see if we have any kind of effect. And we don't because we didn't set a height to it. Now the height is five pixels. So if we go back, there it is. Let's also get rid of um, this border right here. And I'll copy the background property. I'll change this to border left, set the repeat to Y, refresh, and that's it really. All right, as you can see, uh, you have a little bit of uh, overlay here. So what you can do is set left to five pixels, right? Which is uh, the exact size of, of this border. So refresh, and now it's pushed to the right five pixels and the patterns all align perfectly, okay? And that was it, guys. You can apply uh, the very uh, same method if you want to use the span element like we did in, in the first one, in the first method. Uh, just replace border with background. Uh, well, that was it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this tutorial. And leave your comments and suggestions uh, down below. Uh, but before I go, I just remembered this. There is actually a third method um, to make this. You can use the border image property. That's a CSS3 property. And as far as I know, currently it's only implemented in a handful of browsers. So um, Internet Explorer doesn't support it at all. Um, and uh, Mozilla partially supports it. Um, and actually, let's have a look. To see exactly what's uh, being supported. So, um, border image. Yes. So, as you can see, IE, it doesn't support it at all. Firefox kind of does. Chrome does. And the rest of the browsers, you can see it here. So uh, that's a that's a third way you can use this property for uh, for those images instead of the background image. But if you want uh, like a simpler way that's uh, widely supported, you can either go with uh, the pseudo element, the before element, or you can just go with that block element which I showed you in method number two. And uh, that was the last. Um, uh, the last note that I made. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Adi signing out.